you. We're not going to take as much time as maybe we intended to take on this. Uh, but I do want to monologue for a moment about the box office hall because really we can't speculate about a sequel. We already know Dune Part 2, blessed so, is coming. It would quite honestly be one of the great tragedies, I think, of modern day cinema if this did not oh, get the Part so 2 that mad. it deserved. <laughs> this would be, I think, the outcry alone. It would have been like a soap opera level outcry. And I use that example just because of yeah. the fact that like, when soap operas are threatened to get canceled, the small but loyal fan base bombards the network so much that they renege all yeah. my children went through that all those years i'm done talking about soap operas i can't stand the damn <laughs> and thing. then netflix would come in and be like guess what guys we bought dude we'll make part two and it won't be as good <laughs> no 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 whatever that drake meme is with the hotline bling no soap operas we talking spice <laughs> operas here but anyway uh moreover though uh i want to i want to start this i want to play a game first things first what if I asked you which movie would get a sequel immediately greenlit after its opening weekend? Would it be the star-studded James Gunn Suicide Squad movie? Or would it be Denny Villeneuve's Dune? If I asked you in January 2021, which movie is going to get a sequel immediately after its box office opening weekend? What if I told you one would earn $26 million opening weekend and be deemed a potentially financially devastating failure versus a $40 million weekend? One would be considered terrible. The other would be considered overperforming $30 million estimates. Would you guess correctly? Between no. Suicide Squad and Dune, <laughs> I damn sure wouldn't either. I would have looked at the history of box offices and be like, well, judging from Blade Runner alone, Hell no. <laughs> and that's the thing that I think is so amazing about that, about this Dune story to begin with, too. Dune had the best opening for a Warner Brothers title in 2021, let alone Denny Villeneuve's entire career. Uh, it surpassed the Suicide Squad. It surpassed Space Jam 2. It blew in the heights out of the water opening weekend. Although it might not stand with The Matrix 4 coming out in December, but that's a different barometer Dude, of success for that franchise. Even when we talked about all the movies coming to HBO Max, I even said, I'm like, oh yeah, the reason why they're probably doing this is because they might not think these movies will make the amount of money that... Um, they, they won't make that much money in theaters regardless if there's a pandemic or not. So it's like they're not losing much. Because I was like, when I saw Dune was on there and a lot of other dramas, which only like at the time I was like, oh, the only blockbusters really on here that like they're really probably expected to make money with is The Matrix and Suicide Squad. I never thought Dune was going to come this close to making this amount of money, but also this much viewership too no. on HBO Max. If you, like honestly, if you looked at me, if you handed me that catalog of HBO films that were coming day one, I would have told Dune probably would have been at the bottom. I would be like, yeah, I probably would get like the least viewership and the least amount of money in theaters. Honestly, that's not that's not that's not a hot take. I don't think, and I, I can't remember the last time many of us film nerds, excuse me, cinephiles, um, all collectively planned to see a movie. Yet we're on pins and needles waiting to see the receipts on a franchise starting blockbuster. I legit cannot remember the last time this has happened. Uh, a sequel was dependent on the opening weekend. A sequel was dependent on the box yeah. office success of this whole thing. Um, and as it stands, Dune is gross two, uh, $223.2 million on a $165 million budget. Uh, 300 million is about the break even point, and it will likely get to that and exceed it in the next couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. Um, and then furthermore, just to assess the numbers here, and then we'll just go in and make quick points on that HBO max viewership was at about 1.9 million households over the weekend. It didn't quite reach the levels of Wonder Woman 1984, or nor Mortal Space Kombat. Jam 2, or Jesus, that was my next point. You stole my closing <laughs> argument here. You stole my closing point here. Who the hell knew Mortal Kombat and added almost 4 million viewers too? Who, who, where was that? I, I that, that, that blew my high. Where, where, actually, where's been all of this data since we've been talking about the HBO Max movies? Like... Quite and frankly, yes. Because <laughs> when you sent that article in the group chat with that graph, I said, where the hell have you been all my life? I've been dying to know the household you know viewership of these movies and stuff i would have guessed i would have probably guessed space jam 2 and wonder woman 1984 were the top two that's if you would have just given it to me straight i would have guessed probably yeah. the top two i would have never thought that mortal kombat almost doubled doubled that viewership but the last point though i'll make 
first off, watch out, King Richard. King Richard about to break them records. Anyway, um, no, but th- the final point I'll make, though, is that I-, I was really happy that Warner Brothers greenlit this sequel as early as they did. And not only that, too, like even before the movie was out, I think the day before the Warner Brothers CEO even basically confirmed it lightly and said, yeah. no, we are embracing Dune Part 2. Yeah, she did. Like. We, she did. She basically came out and said, we're, we're embracing it. We're embracing it um, wholeheartedly. And then soon enough, it was obviously greenlit. And, you know, it's a big dub, I think, not only for like, you know, Dune fans, but I think the sci-fi community as a whole, because it's been a long, long time it's, since we got a movie <coughs> this intelligent. It's a, it's, a, it's a big W for the fans. It's a big W for cinephiles like us that really do appreciate this kind of filmmaking. And yeah, it's a big W for sci-fi fans. You know, they, when's the last time they like sci-fi fans have been getting the short end of the sticks because of uh, superhero movies lately? <laughs> they really don't yeah. get like too many su- like, and then they get the Star Wars films, and, and we don't have to go into that. But uh, <laughs> like, they've been they've been dying and itching to get like a new sci-fi like film to go see and like you know really go into a different universe in the space again because they were not getting that for the longest time. Dom, what say you about Dune's box office hall? You get the final word. Uh, it's, it, it really is remarkable, uh, where we are in the film industry because, uh, 2020 hit the reset button on everything. It feels like, and now it's like, yeah, the numbers are all the way down here now in terms of, of box office. This is our bar. The bar has been lowered. Uh, but now we have this new factor with streaming, the acceleration button has been hit on that. So, and we're really seeing it come forward here, especially ever since HBO went all in on it. Uh, much to the charging of maybe a lot of the directors and actors, uh, but uh, they went all in on it. And now we're seeing uh, kind of the fruits of that uh, come through. And, uh, you know, in the history, in the history books, in terms of how uh, streaming uh, really took over uh, how HBO approached, uh, you know, the, the pandemic is, is absolutely going to be, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to be a, a flashpoint. To, uh, yeah. In, 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 without a doubt um i like to think this is magical thinking for me i like to think that just part of it was just yeah you know we're gonna embrace this because denny villeneuve just knows what he's doing he's he's every single movie he's made uh at least that i know of since sicario for the last six years it's just been hits uh maybe not box office hits maybe you know haven't come the returns but they're winning the awards and uh i i would think every actor and every every uh, uh anyone who works with them would want to say that they worked with Denny Villeneuve because this I'm thinking back to Sicario that scene on the bridge I'm thinking back to Arrival and and how you know so much of that was so awesome so that's more fantastical thinking um that maybe there's there's a factor of it too uh but really the fact that this delivered at all um for something that was so such a disaster right um back in 1984 uh seemingly um that it it is refreshing so yeah, we'll see what part two does and how the movie industry is looking then. But uh, for now, I think this is probably the best thing to come out of HBO's decision because we're kind of we're kind of tying it back to that HBO decision last December. Um, so I, I think this is probably the best uh, to, to come out of that.